Good afternoon or evening, boys and girls, mums and dads that are listening today. This is Mrs. Stephen again. I'm one of the deputies at Buckinghamshire Primary School. I'm just going to go over a little bit today for you about a health and wellbeing uh, programme that we do at Buckinghamshire. And what we're going to cover uh, in our early years. It has already started down at the nursery and we continue it all in primary one. So for the focus of today, uh, these are our aims for the presentation. It's to inform parents about the climate for learning policy. That's our uh, behavioural policy throughout the school. Um, the school values and aims that we have, the background to uh, the bounce back programme that we have, and a ready to uh, learn checklist that uh, is really good for parents to do with the boys and girls. Now, at the heart of everything we do at Buckinghaven is our GERFIC. It's getting it right for every child, and as part of that is our Shinari principles. And if you look at here, it's getting it right for every child, so your child is in the middle. And we want them to be successful learners, confident individuals, responsible citizens, and effective contributors in school. And to do those four things, they need to be healthy, achieving, nurtured, active, respected, responsible, included, and safe. So as part of our job as teachers, is not only to educate them, to make sure that all these areas of their growth is considered and is at the heart of everything we do at school. So you'll have seen everything about Shinari in uh, the nursery if you had a preschool child in last year or the year before, but because of um, COVID, you might not be as aware of the Shinari principles as you would have been if you'd been coming into the setting at early years. So this is at the heart of everything we do in uh, early years and throughout the school. Now, this is where everything links together. We've got the children in the middle and we've got our climate for learning policy. And as I said before, that's our behavioural policy. And you'll hear the boys and girls as they go through the school speaking about being rare. Well, we are rare parents at Buckinghaven. And that means that we are respectful, we are ambitious. Oh, go back a bit, I've touched the screen. We are respectful, we are ambitious, we're inclusive, and we're responsible. So we are rare bairns. And we have teddy bears that are rare bairns, and they'll probably meet the bears the first day they come into school. Um, part of being a rare bear is looking at the bounce back programme that we have. Now, the Bounce Back programme starts in nursery, it works its way all the way through the school, and that's to build within the boys and girls resilience and problem solving. Because as they go through their learning, they'll find things difficult, and we say, well, that's okay, you keep trying, you're resilient, you keep giving it another go, and eventually you'll get there, so don't worry about it. Because that is one of the barriers to learning that the boys and girls think if they can't do it straight away, they're never going to do it. So we're trying to get their thinking to change so that they have a go attitude and that they keep trying and they build up that resilience. They don't just give up, they keep trying. Along with the behaviour policy and our bounce back programme, we have our school vision values and aims, which we've looked at as parents and as children and as staff members. So our vision at Buckinghaven is to encourage our pupils to bravely try new experiences, to be confident and successful individuals who value and are proud of their own and others' achievements. Our staff nurture and support our pupils and their families to lead healthy lives and be active members of our community. We promote resilience across the school and encourage everyone to never give up. And you can see how all of this is joined together. And to round everything off, we have the United Nations rights of the child that we, we teach the children about. Articles 28, where you have the right for a good quality education. And Article 12, you have the right to an opinion and for it to be listened to and taken seriously. That is all part and parcel of our vision and aims, our bounce back programme and in our climate for learning. So you can see where all of this comes together in our health and well-being. So not only are we teaching the boys and girls about um, having a balanced diet, cleaning their teeth, washing their hands, uh, making good choices for the school when it comes to uh, drugs awareness and alcohol awareness and smoking and all that sort of things. We are 
All of this is combined in our Shinari, so it's a programme that goes across all stages of learning, all stages of life, and it goes right through from nursery right up to primary seven. Now, curriculum for excellence, it's our mental, emotional, social and physical well-being that, that um, actually concentrates on more. So you'll see I put here the six principles of nurture. That is what goes on in every classroom at every stage and it just gets progressively uh, more in depth as the children go through from stage to stage. It says through the nurturing restorative approaches and positive relationships, Buckingham will use the bounce back programme to help the pupils understand. Now, the mental health and well-being of our pupils is very important because unless they're in the correct mental state to learn, then that won't happen. If there's any worries about education or worries about what's going on at home or worries about uh, what they're achieving, we have to get their mindset right. That's why we have the bounce back program to build the resilience in there. So mental and emotional well-being, we'll look at the feelings. Down at primary one, we're looking at what makes them happy, what makes them sad, what makes them angry. And we speak about all those feelings and how to um, regulate those feelings as the boys and girls go through school. The behaviour management policy, we try and get them to reflect on what made them react the way they did. Sometimes it's just a fight or flight reaction, or sometimes they just can't control their anger and we try and speak it through with them to see if we can come up with strategies that help them and support them with their behavioural management. Dealing with their emotions again and their feelings and behaviour management are all linked together. Where to find support? The boys and girls are shown that their teacher and their PSA, yes, they are the first port of call if they need support, but out in the playground, it could be any PSA. In school, it could be any teacher. They've just to go to a, an adult they feel safe with and they can explain and we will support them through whatever it is they're going through. We also, if we think a child needs additional support, we will find it for them and support the child and the family through it. We're also building up resilience to deal with the change, the failure and challenge. Just everyday life. Failure in um, maybe just be uh, not making a, a friendship the right way or um, not managing to do a piece of work. And we go through the steps and see what the problem is and see how we can support to alleviate it. And the boys and girls get used to the fact that we're there to support and to help. And failure is not a bad thing because we always learn from our mistakes. And if they didn't fail at something, then as teachers, we wouldn't know what our next steps were in their learning. And in Bounce Back, before I forget, this is all the core um, subjects within Bounce Back. We've got units on success, the core values of it, social values, people bouncing back, being courageous, the bright side, there's always a bright side, even in failure, how to do your emotions, relationships, humour, what's all that about, and being safe. So it's all linked together. Now, bounce back, what does it mean? And this is the first thing the boys and girls will learn. And again, if you see here, we've got respectful, ambitious, inclusive and responsible. We're rare bairns at Buckinghaven. The Doric rare for being really good, rare bairns. B, bad times don't last. Things always get better and we've got to stay ambitious and optimistic. Other O is other people can help if you talk to them and you can get a reality check because sometimes you think you're really bad at something when you're not really but your perception of it is that you are. You, unhelpful thinking makes you feel more upset. Think again. N, nobody is perfect, not you and not others. C, concentrate on the positives no matter how small they are, and use laughter. Laugh about it. E. Everybody experiences sadness, hurt, failure, rejection and setbacks. Not just you. They are a normal part of life and don't personalise personalize them. And we have a song that goes onto YouTube and the boys and girls learn the back, bounce back side. And if you notice, it's just bounce I have because down in primary one, we only do the bounce. The back happens between primary four and seven. So ones to threes, 
No shape threes, we just do bounce. So that's why I've just left bounce there for you. The social well-being through positive reinforcement and good modeling, Buckingham Haven staff will support the pupils in developing their social interactions. Because sometimes that is where they have to learn to um, look at their emotions, see if they can regulate them in a better way, how to work out with another person, uh, how to compromise and how to work together. And that's all skills that we have all learned over our lifetime, but the boys and girls are just starting that process. So we we'll look at their rights and their responsibilities. We we'll look, at, look at, ask them to value each other, to encourage their friends and themselves to do their very best every day, see themselves as part of the wider school community and build positive friendships. This see themselves as part of the wider school community. We also have their houses. They'll each be given a house when they come in at Buckinghaven and they have house streets and things. With COVID, we've had to kind of put them in the back burner because we couldn't get all the houses together because that would mean mixing bubbles. But hopefully in August, we'll get back to doing that. Again, if you see, it's the rights of the child for the UNIF, UNIF, UNICEF. This is the being buddies and also the boys and girls become part of the pupil council. There'll be uh, representatives from primary one right up to primary seven um, for our pupil council so that the boys and girls have a voice in what happens to them in school. Their physical well-being again is also something we take very seriously at Buckinghaven and the pupils will be taught about the following use of a variety of resources. How the human body works. That starts right off at nursery. Taking risks and the risk benefit. If you see this little girl up here in the tree, she's got three points touching and one not. As long as you've got three points touching, you're gonna to be safe. But we will also ask them, do you feel safe? If they don't, we'll say, well, what are you going to do? Are you gonna come down? If you're safe, are you gonna go tall, uh, higher up in the tree? So it's all about getting them to think about the risks that they're taking. We speak about safety, safety in the home, safety in the classroom, out on the roads, uh, walking home at night from school, stranger danger. We speak about the drugs and all that sort of thing that they would uh, come across during their lifetimes. Healthy lifestyles, a balanced diet. Do they need sleep and how much sleep they need? Drinking water and keeping exercise. We are a great encourager of drinking water throughout the day just to keep their brain stimulated. Personal health care, washing their hands after being to the toilet, before eating, after sneezing, tooth brushing, emergency and the COVID procedures, which the boys and girls have taken to no problem at all, but we will reinforce them. People who can help us keep healthy, our doctor, our nurses, the lollipop person, the policeman, the fireman, etc. We also have a lady that comes in and does child smile. She's called Helen. And she comes in and the boys and the girls all know Helen. They've, they've had her since nursery. But she comes in again and she'll come in in primary one and do a wee talk about keeping their teeth and everything nice and healthy. And then we speak to them about uh, how to make a 111 call. Um, simply that it's not something that you do uh, as a prank, but something that you do if uh, there's a real emergency. So I went through that really, really quickly. But the health and well-being doesn't just start in, in primary one, it's already started from nursery and it will continue all the way through, uh, through our Bounce Back programme, through our vision and values and aims, through our uh, climate for learning, our, our behavioural policy and taking all of that into the UNICEF articles. Uh, so if you have anything at all, any questions for our teachers, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, speak to me uh, on the phone, you can contact me on school, the school number 403665. We can't wait to have the boys and girls join us in August. They've all been coming in for the wee visit and just been full of life and full of smiles because they're coming to big school. So if you need anything from any of us, just please give us a call. Thank you.